In tonight's sports news, Steve Smith, David Warner, and Chris Gale headlined the 100 draft, batting greats Tendulka Lara to play in new T20 tournament, and in dominoes, new champs are crowned. We bowl off with cricket. Steve Smith and David Warner are among the most expensive players listed in the main men's draft for the 100. The batsman, who helped Australia retain the Ashes earlier this year, carried a top £125,000 reserve price. Fellow Australian Michelle Stark, West Indies batsman Chris Gale, Sri Lanka's Lasif Malinga, and South Africa paceman Kagiso Rabada will also cost £125,000. The inaugural 100 ball competition, which will be contested by eight city based teams, takes place next summer from July 17th to the 16th of August. In more cricket news, our batting greats Sachin Tendulkar and Brian Lara are among former cricketers who will return to the field for the Road Safety World Series in India next year. The World Series will be an annual T20 tournament played between retired cricketers from five countries Australia, South Africa, Sri Lanka, West Indies, and India. Indian Tendulkar and West Indian Lara will be joined by former players including India's Virinda Sewag, Australian Brett Lee, Sri Lankan Telekaratne Dilshan, and South Africa's John T. Rhodes for the tournament from February the 2nd to the 16th for Cross India. Tendulkar 46 is the world's leading scorer in tests and won the internationals, amassing more than 34,000 runs and 100 centuries in a 24-year career that ended in 2013. In 2008, Tendulkar surpassed Lara's record for the most test runs with the West Indies left-hander having made 11,953 in the longest format of the game before retiring from international cricket in 2007. Lara holds the record for the highest individual test score, his 400 not out against England in Antigua in 2004. On to women's cricket now, Cricket West Indies on Wednesday named Gus Logie as the interim head coach of the West Indies women's team and said it would be immediately begin the recruitment process to fill the role permanently. The 59-year-old former West Indies test star of the 1980s and 90s who served as assistant coach of the side for the last two years replaces head coach Henderson Springer who according to a Cricket West Indies statement will now provide assistance to Cricket West Indies coaching education programs. Logie, a former West Indies men's senior head coach, will take charge of preparation for India's tour of the Caribbean, which runs from November 1st to the 20th. In English football, Manchester United midfielder Paul Pogba has been ruled out of Sunday's Premier League meeting with leaders Liverpool at Old Trafford. The Frenchman, 26, is suffering from a foot injury that has limited him to two appearances since the end of August. United are two points clear of the relegation zone, while Liverpool have an eight-point lead at the top. Goalkeeper David Gea is also a doubt for the game. He will have scans on Thursday on a groin injury. In Domino's news, for the third consecutive year, Harry Edwards' jewelers has successfully hosted the Island-wide Taxi Drivers Association Domino Tournament with participants from the Euronoro International Airport in the south to the duty-free ports of Castries to the hotels of the north. In each association, taxi drivers first competed to determine their strongest players, who then represented their respective hut at the event, which took place on Saturday, October 12, 2019, at the Civil Service Association Centre in Castries. The defending champions of the Southern Taxi Association, Francis Palton and Luden James, were able to battle their way back into the finals and went head-to-head -head against Holiday Taxi, Laplace Carinage Taxi Association team, Max Richard and Michael Flavien in a best of three set. It seemed at first that the Southern Taxi team would retain their title for a second straight year, winning the first round 6-5. However, the Laplace de Carinage team was not to be taken lightly. With great determination, they were able to win the second and third rounds with scores of 6-2 and 6-0 respectively, securing their victory and becoming the new champions. Finally, in tonight's sports news, tennis. Roger Federer will again compete in the French Open next year. The 20-time Grand Slam champion, 38, returned to Roland Garros in 2019 after a three-year absence but was beaten by Rafael Nadal in the semi-finals. The Swiss player, who has only won the French Open once in 2009, will also compete at next year's Tokyo Olympics. That's sports news for tonight.